Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie from Learn to Play and today's video is a tour of my home daycare. Now I've been doing home daycare since June of 2018 and I am forever changing things up. I have a couple of videos already on my channel about my tours. It's funny to look back and see what I originally started with and how I've grown as both a business and a home daycare and I just get a kick out of it. So with that being said, let's get the tour started. So my upstairs, I have a formal dining room, a kitchen, an eat-in kitchen. My laundry room is up here. I do have like a small little pantry here I'll show you. Entrance to my garage. I have a bathroom. And then I have, I guess like a family room, if you want to call it that. And then I have the front um, living room. Okay, one of the first things I want to show you is my sign-in desk here. Each month I do like a little sign-in sheet. I have the children's names and then I write just what time they were in and out. I have my thermometer, I have hand sanitizer, and then I just have our January newsletter. Typically I am the one that signs the parents in and out and then I keep the records for, I mean I've kept them indefinitely since I've started. Over here we'll start to the right. Each day I do the calendar on there. There's Charlie Brown. Here is my dining room. We do not use this room. Well, I'm not gonna say we don't use this room. The parents that have car seats typically put them right there in front of that bench. Otherwise, we really don't use this room. Um, when you walk in, there's a coat closet right there. And then I do have the children put their shoes in that little shoe container. This flooring, I am not a fan of because it's ceramic flooring. And in the winter, it definitely gets slippery and the kids slide all over with their boots. Now this door right here to the left, I will show you in a little bit. That is our playroom. That is the entrance down to my basement. So here is my kitchen area. I purchased this, I love this. I purchased this off of Amazon a couple of months ago, like probably like in the springtime. And it's so easy. I just put the cups underneath. They can have Cheerios. We do animal crackers. Otherwise, this area right here, I do keep their um, snack containers, their snack cups down there. And I was using this area where those two bar stools were. I did have two height chairs there, but now that the boys are, the one is over one, the one is almost one, I have transitioned them into a tabletop. I'll show you that. And then sometimes the older kids, they do want to eat, um, or they like the kitchen table area, so I do allow them to do that. And then right here is where I hang all the children's coats and any like bags or stuff as well that they bring. Moving on to the kitchen. I'm gonna show you what I do. So I got these containers. I love these containers. I got those from um, Old Time Pottery and I simply just use my Cricut machine and I put their names on there. I just have their bottles in a little basket. I hand wash obviously all their bottles and then Let's see, what else can I show you here? I do at least two loads of dishes a day, I wanna say. I try to start each morning with a plain slate or clean slate, you know, no dishes in the dishwasher, but I always end up doing like two loads of uh, dishes. Here is my pantry. Please don't judge, it's a hot mess, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> what I want to show you is that I keep all their plates here. I keep all like the miscellaneous um, cups over there and then their normal cups that they use, their bowls, and then like their formula and stuff. Like I said, I do have three babies on formula. I have the parents label all of the formulas. And then here I keep a copy of our weekly menu. This is from last week. I did go grocery shopping last night. So I will switch out that menu. I typically take a picture of the menu, bring it to the grocery store with me so that I know um, how much. I usually budget between 50 and $60 a week on items for the daycare. Then the store right here is just my garage. This is my laundry room. I do do laundry for the kids if they soil their clothes and it's like, in the morning or early afternoon, I will throw a load of laundry in. Here is the bathroom that the children use. Um, I have one little boy who is potty training, so I have that hooked up. And then this little toilet as well turns into a step stool, and then they can come up here and then just wash their hands. They do really well with that. I've often contemplated getting that um, 
that tall ladder, that tall wood ladder in here, I may do it, but it's like $100. I don't know if I wanna spend that kind of money. We'll go into the living room area. My dog, this is not for the kids. <laughs> My dog had surgery a couple of months ago, and so we had to keep him contained. Although the children do want always to go in there and play. So we have that out right now. And then this area we typically use in the morning and then the late afternoon. I have one little child who arrives at 645, so I do turn on the TV for him because everyone else doesn't arrive till almost 8 o'clock. So they love to sit on this like little bench area. It's so funny. But he brings his own like snack and um, milk, so he'll always come over here and get like a little coaster and then put it on the table. They must do that at home. And then this front living room area, I do have a gate. I got this gate off of Amazon. If you've seen my previous home tours, I used to have a gate across here and I cut that gate out. And then actually, I think my sister broke that gate trying to walk over it. So then we got a different gate. But this is where we serve all our meals. This is where we have snack. And then when the children are sleeping, the older children are sleeping, the um, infants, they play in here. So let me show you what's going on in here. I just have like my parent board, our calendar, copy of my handbook, my license. This is the table I was telling you about. So now the two infants do sit up here for snack. Actually, all three of my infants, because the one is five months old and he does really well sitting in here. I've had this downstairs since I've bought it, what, two years ago? And this is the first time I've ever brought it upstairs about a couple weeks ago and it's working out really well. I never knew like if the kids would make it just like a total mess throwing all their food, they've been doing pretty well with it. Um, I want to say I got this off of either overstock.com or Wayfair for $200. I got this bookshelf, I want to say from Walmart, and then they are so obsessed with this little animal zoo thing. Then I just have some small animals right there. And then I got these vintage um, campers a couple like months ago. The kids are so obsessed with them. They love the little Fisher Price toys, guys. You don't always have to have brand new toys. I find that my children are the most engaged with the vintage toys. Then over here, I just have a puzzle. In this container, let's see what, I think I have the sand. Yeah, I have a couple different like sand. I have crayons in here. Then I have some like little gadgets from the Dollar Tree, just a kind of like a busy box to keep them busy. And then I have a couple of doodle boards, um, some whiteboards, and then some coloring books in there. I try not to put too many things in here just because the kids will make a huge, huge mess with them. But as you can see, the blocks are completely full. Um, down here, I have all the large animals. And then I have some books down here. And then these two bottom shelves are more for like the babies that they can get into. Panning around over here, I did bring up those um, vintage Little Tykes kitchen set. I got this. This is so funny, guys. I got this from like a mommy resale um, shop for $10. I thought it was so cute. The one little boy is obsessed with giraffes, so this works out perfect. I do have two of these little chairs. I keep one upstairs. I keep one downstairs for the five-month-old. And then as you can see, I have very little toys in here. I have a couple of pots and pans and a spatula, and that works out perfect for them. Then I did bring up this little height chair. And over here, I have, my neighbor actually gave that to me. It's so great. I have a, like a little bouncer seat for the baby. And then here is my changing station. So where all those Velcro dots are, I have their names. And then since most of my kids are siblings, they share a basket. I put all their extra diapers down here, their extra clothes. I actually had to go and buy this this weekend because I had so many diapers and I didn't know where to store them. To the left over here, I have a wall hand sanitizer. I got this Marathon um, paper towel holder from Sam's Club. Then I just keep a thing of Kleenex up on top. And then this shelf is from Hobby Lobby. The baskets I wanna say are from TJ Maxx. And again, I just have, I flipped them around, but the kids' names are all on the front side of that. I have a whole container of like different diaper creams, gloves, and then I keep spare wipes on here as well. I don't put a cover on this. We just sanitize it after each use. And then the last thing I wanna show you over here is that I got this gate 
from, I'm sure they're all over those, um, like a resale shop, like a kid's resale shop. And I needed something because as you can see the way my stairs are, you cannot put a gate. So this goes over here and it just connects into the wall. Sometimes the children figure out how to crawl underneath there, but for the most part, it works out really well. I've had this again since I've opened. I think I spent like $40, $45 on that, but brand new because I've had parents ask me because they must have the same style stairs and brand new, it's like over $100, $120. So that is my downstairs area. Um, let me show you. I'm kind of embarrassed to show you my outside because I did not organize it. I guess this will be real life, huh? Okay, let's see what's going on here. So last week we did bottle rockets. It's still the residue on there. We have not gone out since. It's very chilly here. We are in the Midwest. I have a bunch of little tykes um, cars. And then I'm going to get rid of that metal um, swing set this summer. I am not a fan of that. That caterpillar I got last spring, they absolutely love that. I had this large umbrella to give more shade. And then my wicker furniture. That wicker furniture did have like a glass top on that table. I took that off because I didn't want the kids to hurt themselves. And then over here, I do have like an industrial garbage can. So when we need to throw anything away. So as we come upstairs, I'm gonna show you this first room to the right. This is my home gym slash home office slash where the infants sleep. So on here, here is where I do all my printing. I do all my work stuff on here. I do have like a Cricut machine. I have my printer, laminator, definitely need that. Um, I have this like little cart for Michaels that you've probably seen in other previous videos. And I just have right now one crib in here. I just bought this new mattress off of Amazon. It arrived yesterday. And then I got these sheets as well. It was like a two pack. I want to say for like 10 or $13, I need to wash those. So yes, I just keep the one baby in here for right now. Um, like I said, I have, he's five months old. I have a one year old and then I have an 11 month old. The 11 month old only comes twice a week. So it usually works out to where I can rotate the other room that I'll show you with napping. And then I just have like a little, um, little like sound machine that I keep on like a lullaby on here. And then that room right there is my bathroom. And then that door right there is my closet. So coming down the hallway, this room to the right is my husband's office. We have a linen closet right here. I don't put a gate up here just because the kids, they don't come up here. Like I said, that one gate that I showed you downstairs, that fabric gate, I can put that across the um, other way of the stairs and keep any kids out if they were to come up here. But right now it hasn't been an issue. There's my bedroom. Right here is the upstairs bathroom. Sometimes the kids need to come up here and use it. I don't have like a step stool in, in here or anything. It's usually for like the older kids if they need to use okay, it. Now I'll show you where the other child sleeps or the other two children, they rotate. I do have a pack and play. This is just a spare bedroom. My niece usually stays in here when she stays the night. I am contemplating whether or not I wanna bring a second pack and play up here. I do have one downstairs. So we'll see, we'll see if I, Think that both kids could sleep soundly in here. <laughs> like I said, I usually just have one child in here at a time. And then let's go downstairs and I will show you our main daycare space. The first thing I want to show you on this wall is that I do a letter of the month, number of the month, and color of the month. And over here I just have pictures of the kids. Downstairs immediately to your right is your preschool room. And as you can see, I've done murals all along the whole entire daycare walls. Okay, here we are. We are walking into the preschool room. As you can see this month, we are doing space. So what I put on these walls was I got this like wallpaper, like almost like contact paper off of Amazon. And I simply just covered up the green walls that were in here before. That border on top is from Michael's and then all of the little like cardboard cutouts are either from Michael's or Hobby Lobby. 
I got this paper dispenser from Ikea, and then the shelves, the top and bottom shelves, are from Ikea as well. So what I've done is I've assigned each child a color. Now I have a more in-depth video that you can check out on YouTube, my whole preschool tour video. I'm not gonna go into total specifics like I did in that video. I'll just give you kind of a quick overview of the room and let you know what is working, what isn't working. We've been doing this now for about four or five months and I think we got a good routine going on here. On this shelf right here, I have puzzles. And then each child, like I said, is assigned a color. So I usually put whatever markers, crayons, whatever kind of like scissors or anything that they're using, I put in this thing and then I put it on their desk. And then they have their own little case that has like scissors and crayons and glue sticks. And then on top, I keep all of their markers, their Play-Doh, watercolors and stuff. And then on the bottom shelf, I have all our projects that we are working on for the week. This middle one is just their um, smock for art. And then the bottom one is like dry erase boards, dry erase packets. Up on top over here, since we are doing space, I got a couple of these little like headlamps for the kids to use. And then just kind of like my san um, sanitize station. And then I have a teacher's like basket right there. I always put like whatever letter we're working on and then whatever like sensory bin that we are doing. On this wall, I got that pocket chart, I wanna say probably from the Target Dollar Spot or Dollar Tree. And then I have our monthly calendar. So as you can see, I try to always find like, even though we're doing space, we always try to find like wacky holidays. So it was like National Spaghetti Day. We had spaghetti for lunch. Um, bubble bath day, we did that this past Friday with like little mini bubble baths for the kids to wash their dolls in. And then I have the letter and then the number on here. This whiteboard I got from Staples. And most of this like space stuff is all from the Dollar Tree. And then I have two of these um, magnetic, even though this board is not magnetic and I said it was, I have two of these magnetic bins from Lakeshore Learning. So I just had to use like the double-sided like Velcro tape on those. Down below, my dog's bed. I am fortunate enough to have a nice closet space inside of this room. So this is where I house all of my extra materials. I try to label everything. I mean, I know where everything's at, but like when my assistant comes to get stuff out, I try to have it labeled so that she can find it easily as well. Over here, I just have a little like three-tier card that has like magazines, file folders, some more arts and crafts, some games. I do have um a chalkboard and a whiteboard from ikea up on top is all just like kind of extra art stuff or printables i do have a hand sanitizer um in here as well a wall sanitizer i love this is my favorite part of the room is the shelf unit just because i'm able to see everything i went with all clear bins this year i can see everything i don't have to label it for the most part up on top and then i have all my books I do use binders. I have all my binders for different like themes and stuff like that. This back shelf right here, I have the kids little like take home boxes. And then I just have a bunch of like fine motor skills. I have blocks, I have magnetic dolls, I have Legos. On this bin right here, I tried to do what our monthly theme is. So as you can see, I have some like Toy Story stuff in here. This week we're doing aliens and UFOs. Um, some flashlights, some more like dramatic play down here. I got these are so cute. I got these from the Dollar Tree like two years ago. I wish they would bring these back. These little like astronaut space vest. And then let's see what else can I show you. On the wall right here, I just changed this out. Since this is already like divided, I love that. I can easily just decorate that with different things. And then lastly, I wanna show you are the desk. I got these desks from Ikea. I believe they were 20 or $30 each. They come in like a light brown, like unfinished, and I simply just painted them to go with the colors that each child is assigned. I got these little alien guys off of Amazon. These are so cute. There's like a 12 pack for $12. So when the kids arrive in the morning, I try to have their desk already done with what we're gonna do for the day. Um, since we are, like I said, learning about aliens and UFOs, we're going to do an art project that I'm going to put water in there and mix a little bit of white paint on black paper. And then I found these little UFOs from the Dollar Tree. 
So that is the preschool room down here. Okay, so at the bottom of the stairs, I have two of these cars. I actually have three of these cars, but right now I only have room for two. And then, like I said, here is that mural. The first one, I just simply put my name on there. I did a schoolhouse and then a zoo one. So this room, I just want to describe it a little bit. Since I am so boy heavy, I have decided to bring kind of like the outdoors inside. Now, none of these toys have been used outdoors. They are all, hmm, all but two of them are actually new. Not necessarily new, new, but new to our program. This little climber right here, this little Tykes climber I got from Walmart. I want to say that was like $120. And then I had the step two toy box. There's just some like stuffed animals and stuff in there. That closet behind there is like where I think my heater is. And then along this wall, I have a couch. We do have a TV down here that's new. Um, just again, because it's winter. So we decided if there's ever anything we wanna watch or like a special program, like right now we're doing space. So we've been watching like space launches off of it. I got this little text tunnel from Goodwill. I wanna say for like $6. You can no longer find it. It's vintage. When I looked online, I wanna say it was like $100. It's so crazy to me. And then right here, I got this little like stacker from Walmart. This right here, this climber, I bought off of Facebook Marketplace. I wanna say for $35. And then as you can see right here, I just have like a doctor backdrop. This is my movie theater backdrop. I'll link that video below. And I know the TV's not centered. I guess that's where the stud in the wall is. Drives me nuts. I'm probably gonna take it down because I literally can't stand that it's not centered. Right there is the flower shop. I have like a little Starbucks and then I have a pizza um, shop behind here. Because normally that couch goes along right here. But since we brought in these other toys, I had to move the couch. I do have two gates. So I have a metal gate or an iron gate there. And then the white gate and then another iron gate here just to separate the two areas. Because again, this side is typically the baby side. This step two slide combo I got for $2.50 at Goodwill. It is in such a great condition. I can't even believe it. So when I have to spend $100 on a toy, I don't feel as bad because then I get these great scores for $2.50. This little Tykes um, combination right here, again, I got for like $2. Right now, this you can buy this brand new. I want to say for like $60 on Amazon. I have this little house I got from a garage sale. Again, probably for like 5 bucks. And then this school bus I ordered off of Walmart.com as well. And I think that was like $100, $120. The kids love it. Like when you push the um, horn in, it makes all kinds of noises. These two are my favorite backdrops, the gas station and the firehouse. So the kids love this side. Like I said, I usually separate the kids when they're playing. So I'll have like two or three kids on this side. And then I'll have, you know, two or three kids on the other side that I'm going to show you. And then a couple of them will play in the preschool room doing like table activities. Just because if I had all seven, eight kids together, it would be total chaos. So now we are on the other side at my basement. I kind of just call this actually like the Melissa and Doug side. Just because the majority of these items are Melissa and Doug. So starting to the left, I have the simple file cabinet. Up on top, I do have like a yuck bucket. So any toys that the kids put in their mouths during the day, I simply just put them in there. I have a little cash register. If you haven't checked out one of my thrift hauls, I think I got that for $5. That is in one of those videos. I'll link that below. And then inside here, this top one, I just go by like the days of the week and put my curriculum in there for each day. The second one, just has colored um, construction paper sorted. I do like actual construction paper and then I have like colored um, cardstock in the back. This third drawer is just kind of all my papers that I have laminated or like worksheets, like for the B one right here, let's see. Like, yeah, I have like a letter B. I have like lesson plans that go along with stuff like that. I have it all the way from A to Z. And then what's in this bottom one? Oh, the bottom one I have like counting stuff. So I have a bunch of different like counting sorting mats. I have color sorting. I have the whole alphabet printed out. And then I, I love these. I made these over the summer where 
well, I didn't make it. I laminated it. It's from typicallysimple.com, but this is just where they would take like magnetic letters and then match them up to this sheet. So this is a great resource. And then I have a number one that they do as well. And then they're shape ones. I have like shape and sort. All of these are probably freebies that I found online. So then I just have a little refrigerator down here. We usually don't put anything in there. I have like a mini office down here with just like office supplies, um, different kind of scissors, a punch hole, and then just markers and colored pencils and stuff like that. This little caddy is like all my diaper creams. Right here is just kind of like a catch-all. As you can see, I mean, I have everything from mustaches to um, receipt books in here. Right here is like where I keep all my extra hand sanitizer. I have a hole punch. And then this again is just for my personal use. I have like meh, or I like letters in here, just different toys that are either broken or I need to put back together. A glue gun. I put the kids art in here. And then I have like index cards. This is kind of a hot mess here. And then like envelopes and I usually keep my extra um, cartridge for my ink for my printer down here. And then I have some books, some clipboards, and then some like teaching materials. Up on top, this is a catch-all. I have our first aid kit, some extra like pens and glue, a thing of kinetic sand. I need to refill that. That's their like animal cracker snack for down here. And then in that cabinet down below, I just have like an overflow of markers, an overflow of crayons. Behind that, I have these little letters that I change out on that board that I showed you when I first walked downstairs. I have some puzzles down here, some extra Play-Doh, um, a whole other thing of smocks down here, and then just some games and like extra containers and stuff. So starting on this back wall, and I'll link this video below. I did this, this not this past winter, the winter before. So I did like a whole grocery cart thing on the wall, like a wall mural. And then I bought this Melissa and Doug grocery center. The kids absolutely love this. I used to keep this totally stocked with like extra boxes and the kids, they ruin them, <laughs> they really do. So I just typically now have the um, hard plastic like food sources for them to play with. The belt, it does work, it's so cute. You can like roll it. And then here's like a little um, cash register, like a little calculator on the one side and then a little debit card pin on the other. Next to it, I did a diner. And then this is the Melissa and Doug diner. This is the Melissa and Doug condiment set right here. Again, let me show you the back side of this. This is really cute. It has like a little soda stream. It has a little like, I don't know, like a flat stove right there, like a flat burner, and then a burner down there, and then a couple of drawers. Next to that, I did like a little kitchen set. That is just like a poster behind there, and I hung up some blinds, and then this kitchen set is from Walmart. This is not Melissa and Doug. I actually got it because it matches my kitchen upstairs. So I just have a couple, you know, little kitchen items on here. I found these. These are so cute. These are like vintage little tykes at Fisher Price um, pans at Goodwill. So just scrolling down here, I have just some like extra little toys down here. To the left over here, I have extra pots and pans and plates. And then down there to the right is like a little kid's like cleaning, like a Melissa and Doug fake cleaning supply or cleaning caddy. And then I have this table. I got this table from Walmart. I want to say for $20. It does come with two chairs. I don't have the chairs out right now. I typically don't bring out the chairs with this. So then I just have like a little cash register and assorted like cookies. I think this is Melissa and Doug too. They Velcro and they come off so they're interchangeable. And then the last mural I have is the hospital mural. I love this one. This one's one of my favorites. I got that material from Hobby Lobby and I just made like a fake curtain. This is the Melissa and Doug Get Well Center. This is what they play with the most. They are so obsessed with it. They always sit on like both sides and use all their little doctor kit stuff. So this is just like a hodgepodge of stuff that I've collected over the years for this. This room right here is my extra toy storage room. I got this basketball hoop. I think this again was in a thrift video for a couple of bucks. The boys love it. I just got them some mini basketballs in the Dollar Tree and they play with that. And then 
I do have a mirror hanging out for them to see themselves and then like a little Disney princess sleeper sofa over here I did bring the little I used to have this on the other side I brought this little doll crib over here I just have an assortment of dolls up on top I do have again a hand sanitizer and a paper towel dispenser down here and then I just have their diapers those bins are from the Dollar Tree and then on this side I have these two red chairs and then there's like a little brown um, table that goes with it as well those I've had since I've opened I think they were like they're from Ashley furniture I don't know they were maybe a hundred dollars for the set and then the pillows are from the Dollar Tree and then this little bookcase right here I think I got that from Ashley furniture as well so I always keep just an assortment of books on hand when I brought the vintage toys upstairs I put this vanity on this side um, they love it I found this phone this has to be like a Goodwill find or something. They love this phone. So I have this little plastic phone. And then I just have like a little Dollar Tree white bin with all an assortment of little makeup items for them to play with. I think this light does light up. Yep, it does. The last thing over here I want to show you is this little cubby set. I think I bought this off of Wayfair or Overstock. Again, when I first opened for $200. And I just have all their like dramatic play clothes on here. These I always find at Goodwill, literally for like 50 cents or a dollar. I found this at Halloween time at Walmart for like $4. I have been looking for a long time because at Lakeshore Learning, they have one of these and it was like $20. And I think, like I said, I paid three or $4 from that. I want to show you these. This is another thing that honestly gets so much use out of. And I wish I would have picked up more. This was from the Target Dollar Spot a couple years ago. And it's just like a mock keyboard, like a laptop. They love this thing so much. They always play with that. And then I just have an assortment of like vest. And then down below, they have all their superhero capes. I have a drawer full of like shoes and princess stuff. Some like bottles. That is the tour of the daycare. Um, I don't know. I love these videos. I love watching other people's setups. So I'm hoping that I'm able to give some ideas for someone watching this. So with that being said, I hope you like this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, please consider doing so. Like I said, I'll link the videos below that I had talked about um, throughout this whole tour and hopefully you can check those out as well and thank you for watching and i'll catch you in my next video